Four months ago, Graham Storm's future on the European Tour looked pretty bleak. A bogey on the 18th at the Portugal Masters left him just €100 Euros short of retaining his card for this year. Oh, come on, turn over. However, Patrick Reed's withdrawal from the Turkish Airlines Open left him shy of fulfilling the minimum number of events, which reopened the door for Storm. And buoyed by that second chance, the 38-year-old went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Roy McIlroy this month coming out on top, securing his first win in a decade and with that, a European Tour card until the end of 2018. Great, there is so much to talk to you about, but last week, South Africa, a week that I'm sure has now absolutely changed your life. We're just two days after you lifted the trophy now. How on earth are you feeling? Oh, I'm on cloud nine. It hasn't really sunk in, to be honest. Uh, people keep asking me how am I feeling, you know, and congratulating me and what have you. And it's, uh, it's a bit of a surreal moment after everything that's happened over the last three, four months. What was different about last week, do you think? Uh, it's just all about the fact that I've not set any goals or any targets. I've just decided to just go to each tournament and enjoy playing golf again. I felt as though, you know, I was putting too much pressure on myself. I am my own biggest critic. You know, I'm always kind of a bit down on myself. Oh, I could have done this better, could have done that better. But I decided that, you know, let's go to each tournament. I've had that reprieve. It's like a new lease of life to me. And I just want to go and enjoy my golf and just play. Just play, that's it really. And play you did, it was incredibly consistent, but looking at the Sunday, you're teamed up with Rory, which is incredible, but to have him chasing you, what is that like? That must be a huge pressure. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Rory is the global superstar of the game, you know, arguably the best player in the world. Yeah. But he was an absolute gentleman on the golf course. I've known Rory for 10 years and we'd never had the privilege to play with each other, so it was a, oh, like a whole new experience for me uh, to be inside the ropes playing with Rory McIlroy. I mean, doesn't get any bigger than that. Well, I've never played with you before. I've been to play 20 quarter holes with you. Have you never played? No, I've never played. Not. You played so well. Is there a highlight moment for you during those four rounds? The first round was a bit up and down, and then uh, shooting 63 the next day was just amazing after getting off to a fast start. Find myself on the top of the leaderboard. And then all the way through into the into the Sunday, you know, three shot lead. I knew what was going to happen. Rory was going to come out fast at me, and fast he did. Started birdie birdie, and I managed to knock a birdie in the third just to keep my nose in front. So it all built up to that playoff, a nail biting three holes mm. off the tee. Rory hit driver every time. Yeah. You played with the fiber. Was that always the plan? Well, it was the strategy all week. Can't carry the bunker with driver like Rory can. I mean, it's. it's so so far, you know, I mean, yeah. I just can't hit it that far. And, uh, it was just, the strategy all week was just to get it in that position and just give yourself a shot from the fairway. I knew that I just had to kind of almost wait for him to make a mistake and just make my par, or if I hold a long putt, then great. Hold your head, hold your head. Oh! What a putt. Look at Rory there going, great try. You and Rory got on so well during the week and you were chatting like friends, but when it comes down to a playoff situation, is it all of a sudden, right, heads down, this is getting serious? Yeah, I mean, the, the pressure all the way through the day during the round was more intense than the actual playoff. Mm. The playoff was a little bit easier in the sense of it's just me and him, and I've got second in the bag already. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the, and the money's always really beneficial to me, do you know what I mean? So I'd more, felt more relaxed, had more peace of mind, you know, and I just had to try and do the best I possibly could. Oh, and he's missed it. Graham Storm is your champion. BMW South African Open champion for 2017. What a battle that was. You came out on top, it was absolutely wonderful to watch, but Let's just rewind to the end of 2016. You didn't quite manage to keep your card. You missed out by 100 euros, which is just, I'm sure, was so painful. What was that moment like when you realised you may have to be facing Q School? Yeah, it was a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, people were tweeting me and texting me saying, this is the position you're in. Looks like you might keep your card at 111. And then I heard from the tour to say that I'd finished 112 and that I'd lost my card and that I would have to go back to the tour school. Yeah. And then when Patrick Reed decided not to play in Turkey, 
and he wasn't entered into South Africa. I was just fingers crossed for two, three weeks, you know, just praying that he, he you know, he decided not to, not to play, and, and he didn't decide to play, which helped me. But the, I think the two are still giving him his membership, so all's good and for, for both of us. Well, and what a way to take advantage of an opportunity like that. And I'm sure you have got tons of confidence now compared to last year. What's next for you, do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the confidence hopefully will uh, it'll grow, you know, and uh, I'll take a lot from, from what I've achieved last week. Uh, for me, from now, is just to, I've got to keep doing the same thing, just enjoy playing golf. Take a week, each week at a time. You know the old cliche, I suppose. Well, enjoy every moment of it. You truly deserve it, Graham. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much, and have a great year. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks for your time. Thank you.